Oh, listen, it's a lovely feeling, you know. I'm, I'm like, it's, it's been much anticipated with all the delays, and after a, a hard few years with, um, with this pandemic, I think it's a perfect kind of film for everyone to sort of sit and share the experience together. I'm excited. All my family are here, and uh, it'll be nice to finally get it out there and share it with everyone. Yeah, so I play uh, Conrad, and he's this, the son of the Duke of Oxford, and he's this sort of young uh, idealist who wants to go and join the British military at the start of World War One. So um, uh, his father holds him back because he's this sort of infamous uh, pacifist that doesn't believe in violence and uh, has his own set of I uh, ideals and uh, morals that he, you know, my character wants to rebel against, and he. Uh, he tries his best to sort of push back against these sort of set ways, you know, so he has to learn the hard way. I mean, Matthew's a really, uh, he's, a, he's a bold filmmaker, you know, I think he makes really interesting choices within this genre and, and Rafe's one of those actors that I, uh, I mean, I've, I've admired for years, so I feel like incredibly grateful to be like sharing the screen with him. It just feels like a privilege, you know, to be able to learn from him and, and, and watch him and watch him craft this performance. Just the way he treats everyone as well. Like he's uh, he's retained such a calm and kind sensibility despite his like um, huge profile, you know, and an incredible body of work. He's managed to like keep calm and, and be a, a nice person, which is not always the case, so. The training, you know, I, I very quickly learnt how difficult it was going to be. I think I said to Matthew at the start of the film, you know, I'll, I'll try and do as much as possible, but, um, you know, Matthew's very keen on trying to uh, get everyone in very early, so like we did like months and months of rehearsals, it was like six months with me and the stunt team and the incredible Brad Allen, who's sadly no longer with us but um, you know everyone involved in that department is so highly skilled and so highly trained that you just feel like you're in safe hands and you can just sort of give up to their uh, expertise you know and you don't have to like worry you know you're in, you're in good hands. So fans can expect from The King's Man um, something sprawling, something fun um, uh, with a sort of father-son drama at the centre of it you know.